Good day, everyone. It's really great that you all assembled here to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the International Design Center, its wonderful success and growth. Uh, unfortunately, I can't be with you today due to a long-term previous engagement, uh, but if I'm not there in person, at least I'm there in spirit. I hope to offer a few comments about the d development of the center and some perspectives on the center, uh, and I hope they're useful for you today. But before I start, I'd like to acknowledge some people who have been really instrumental in leading the center. Uh, uh, Dan Fry at MIT, Chris McGee at MIT, and John Fernandez at MIT as co-directors. And then at SUTD, Pei King Leong, Chris Wood, Lucy and Blessing have been essential in terms of as directors of the program. And then in terms of the collaboration between SUTD and MIT, Sanjay Sharma, John Brisson, uh, and Chong Tao Chong have been essential in supporting the center and helping it to achieve its great successes. So with that said, let me offer just a little bit of comments about the, the beginning of the center. First, I might just comment about why the IDC? Why did we even set up the IDC? So when we were setting up uh, SUTD, we had in, in mind a considerable amount of innovation in education. But we wanted to be a research-intensive university and wanted to establish the fact that we were research-intensive. And one way to do that was by setting up a major center uh, a collaboration between SUTD and MIT. Uh, and so the, uh, it, one, of the, one of the real reasons for setting up the center was to acknowledge the fact that we were going to be engaged in research uh, and be, have a research intensive university. But we also wanted to uh, acknowledge the fact that we were very much committed to technology driven design. And so the center is about technology driven design. But it wasn't just going to be about research for design. We wanted to integrate that research with education on campus. We wanted to set up world-class facilities, both at MIT and SUTD. Uh, and we wanted to engage the community broadly at uh, SUTD and MIT in participating in the center. We also at MIT wanted to bring together various uh, people and faculty, staff, and students on campus to uh, uh, coordinate our design activities in a way that we hadn't done in the past. So those were all some grand ambitions that we had uh, for the center. I'm very pleased to say that uh, I think we've realized most of those ambitions actually quite admirably. We started the center uh, and when we were in uh, Gimo Road, we had a very small office at that time. Uh, we hadn't enrolled students yet, yet, but we were starting the center. And we had li very little facilities. So Dan Fry and others built a facility called the Gecko Center, which was really sort of a handmade facility. It was remarkable in the fact that it was able to start our research between MIT and SUTD. This was before we had faculty at SUTD to start that research and put us on a research trajectory. We then moved to the Dover campus, and that was a marvelous facility. And at that time, we were creating a center here at MIT as well. Then when we moved to SUTD, we wanted to again acknowledge both significantly and visibly the importance of design. So we put the center right in the center of campus. It occupies several floors of the main building, central building on campus. And so when you walk into the campus, you sort of see the center. Similarly at MIT, we created this wonderful facility that we're sitting in now, which has been very useful in bringing together the community at MIT bringing faculty, staff, and students all together. We have facilities that does uh, wet lab work, dry lab work, sociology work, design work. We build things in a variety of ways. Research developed at the center, and the devices created at the center will be brought into the classrooms, both at SUTD and at MIT, and that would help uh, enliven the educational enterprise and also uh, significantly, I think, uh, stimulate interest from our students uh, in try, trying to pursue uh, research and education in the area of design. Uh, we also wanted to engage our graduate students, and so we uh, engaged a variety of uh, PhD students and now master's students participating in the center. The center has seen enormous growth and has been a great success in a wide variety of ways. Dwight Eisenhower once said, when I prepare for battle, I find that plans are useless, but planning is essential. And we did have planning in place for the center, uh, uh, but uh, plans have evolved. So what are some things that have evolved? The center has helped to spin off other research centers at SUTD. In fact, it's created over 150 million Singapore dollars 
of uh, leveraged grants, that is money that's flown to, into SUTD and MIT to support research in other domains, often related to design. And so it's been a hub of that. The center has provided startup grants for faculties to help the faculty get started up in, in terms of their careers and get going with their careers. Uh, it's created something called the Design Odyssey. Uh, the Design Odyssey is a comprehensive educational program within SUT that uh, provides a certain subset of students who are really very strongly committed to design with remarkable experiences of working closely with faculty, staff, but as importantly industry and uh, engaging that in a variety of ways. And it's created something called design innovation. Uh, design innovation is an activity which does some consulting, some research, but it has some education. And in its educational enterprise, it's educated over 13,000 people. Now, these are, I, th I think, remarkable surprises in a sense. I don't think that any of us thought that the, uh, these things were going to happen as we started the center. But because of the creativity of the leadership, uh, the faculty, staff, and students, they've created these uh, enterprises and activities to help the center reach out to the community, both at MIT and in Singapore. I've indicated a couple ways in which we're surprised about what happened at the IDC. But I think another major surprise has been the focus on so-called design science of trying to uh, bring a different approach to design through the notion of design science, which we hadn't really envisioned as we started the center. The IDC is deeply engaged in education, both at MIT and at SUTD. At MIT, each semester, about eight to 10 courses are offered at the center, in which students come to the center. They learn about some of the theory, the tools, and techniques of design, but they also see the research that's being conducted. And so they see, really in a first-hand way, this linkage between mind and hand, between the research and education. Similarly, at SUTD, designs and theory from the center is being brought into the classroom in a wide variety of ways. Another way that the center has been engaged with education has been the Global Leadership Program, where up to 2017, SUTD sent 40 students a year to work with MIT students in creating designs over the summer. Uh, they built uh, go-karts at one point, then they built boats, and you'd go out in the Charles River and see them uh, in these boats having uh, races with these boats, and really very exciting ways of engaging them further in, in design and letting them be a part of not only the SUTD community, but the MIT community. By the same token, MIT sent students every summer to Singapore, and they were engaged with SUTD and other universities, engaged in what, what understanding SUTD and engaged in design in a wide variety of ways. MIT, part of its motto is mind in hand, that we bring together the best in terms of thinking about research and education, but we also create things. We impact the world in a wide variety of ways. I remember coming here uh, one summer, uh, talking to one of the students, and he was, uh, this was designing it for a go-kart, and he was designing something that was using some electric circuits and things. And I said to him, you haven't had a course in circuits, have you? He said, no, 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 but I just learned it. And I think that's what the, the, we'd like to have uh, participate in terms of our students, both at MIT and SUTD, uh, provide them with a deep grounding of math sciences, humanities, arts, and social sciences, but also the ability to learn and think so that they can move in a wide variety of ways in their lives. Thomas Jefferson once said that education should provide memory for the past, reason for the present, and imagination for the future. And I think I would say, offer that that's uh, something that pertains to IDC as well. It should provide memory for the past. We should understand that we're building upon generations of research in mathematics, science, and design as we create the art artifacts uh, that we're using today. It does provide reason for today as, as to why are we creating these designs and why are we using them. We need to understand the user community and the like. But as importantly as anything, it should provide imagination for the future. What should the future look like? How can we use design into the future? Design is essential for our lives. If you look around this room, you look around the center, you pick up your telephone every day, you look at your TV, uh, you get in your car, uh, you read your newspaper. These are all elements of design. We've designed artifacts, we've designed things that I think impact our lives in a great variety of ways. The IDC is intended to build upon that uh, foundation of design and to create new designs for the future. I'm sure that over the years it will continue to prosper 
continue to do great things and continue to be very important both to MIT, SUTD, to the regions that they are in, and also to the world. As you listen to the panels today and other presentations, I hope you reflect a little bit upon the evolution of the International Design Center, where it's come from, how it's evolved, how it's matured, how it's created an enormous amount of uh, valuable research devices, companies, and the like uh, for the community. Uh, I also hope that you'll think a little bit about the importance of design. Uh, design is important for the world at large in a wide variety of ways. Uh, as Patrick Henry once said, I like the dreams of the future better than the history of the past. Think about the future, dream about the future, enjoy the day.